This is a demonstration of Correspondence 6664. If you need to find it, click the tab for Part 4 on the left, and it's under Lesson 66. As we start this document, remember that we will be demonstrating three word features. This is a modified block style letter. Compare that to block style where everything begins at the left margin. We will be setting a three and a quarter inch left tab for modified block style, and that tab is used for the date line, the closing line, and the writer's ID lines. We will also be typing a numbered list and inserting a page number for a multi-page letter. All multi-page documents need page numbers, at least on page two and following. Now the first thing we're going to do is click Start Work under Step 1. And GDP will open a Word document for you. You should click OK with that screen popping up and you will have a blank document. Turn on Show Hide by clicking the paragraph mark on the paragraph group on the home ribbon. The first thing you should do is set the tab before you type anything at all. That way it applies to everything you type and is the most efficient way to create a document using a tab like this. Also, you can see here how the checklist would help you with all of these steps that we are going to be covering. How you can create your document with these steps or uh, look at it before you turn it in to make sure that you've included everything as the document should will be graded. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is clear our tabs and set that three and a quarter inch tab. So go to the paragraph dialog box launcher and the tabs button in the lower left corner. Here the first thing to do is click clear all. Then in the box where the cursor is at the top left type 3.25 Notice it's a left tab. It must be a left tab. No leaders. And then click Set. Then you'll see that 3.25 inch tab appear in the Set Tabs box. Click OK. And you will notice that left tab on the ruler now. You should always have your ruler showing. When that left tab is set, and be sure it's not a center tab, that does not work the same way. Um, we are going to begin our letter by pressing enter five times to leave two inches at the top of the page. You will count six paragraph marks here, but the last one moves with your cursor, so you should just count five for five blank lines at the top. We're going to press the tab key once and type the date that will be starting at the center point, the three and a quarter inch tab. Then you're going to press enter four times because we want three blank lines. Type the inside address. Then press enter two times for one blank line. Type the greeting. Press enter two times for another blank line. Then type the letter up to the point of the list, which is what we're going to do together next. Remember, do not indent your paragraphs. You're going to click the numbering command in the paragraph group up on the home ribbon. No indentions are needed. Just start typing item 1. You'll press enter one time and automatically see number two to type the second item in the list. The same goes for number three. You use the default indentions that Word provides for the list. After number three you're going to press enter twice. The first time you'll see a number four which you don't want. You press enter again and you will be returned to the left margin with the list over but a blank line supplied because you want a blank line before and after the list. When you finish the rest of the letter it's going to spill over onto page 2 and you will use that center point tab to type the closing lines as indicated. 
After Attorney at Law, you will be pressing Enter twice so that you'll have a blank line before the reference initials, which should be just your first and last initial, lowercase. Press Enter one more time and type the enclosure notation. At this point, you will be inserting a page number. You will move to the Insert ribbon, the Header and Footer group, the Page Number command, choose the top of the page, and from the options you'll want the third one to place it on the right. Then you must click Different First Page in the ribbon area there so that it will not show on page 1. This is called suppressing the page number on page 1. Once you've verified that it's worked correctly, close the header and footer. Now we're ready to save your document again and submit it to GDP for scoring. If you're familiar with how all of that works, you can stop here, but since this is early in the course, we're going to follow this procedure through for you to make sure that it's cemented in your head. Uh, save your document. Be sure that it's not saving in a temporary area, but either on the flash drive or in the folder that you've created for your GDP documents. And you will usually be far ahead to choose the Save As command and be sure that you're putting it in the right place with the right name. Notice how the document is named in particular at the end of the name. It, the name also inserted by GDP includes the unit number. And you can change the name, but it's often easiest to leave it as GDP creates it. Right then you can close your document and move back to GDP. You will click in step two to upload your document, browse to the location where you stored it, find the document 6664, and then you will notice the little clock spinning as it's uploaded and once that stops you can click Submit Work and GDP will score it immediately and open a window to show you whether you have any errors or not. You'll notice here I have one because I neglected to type 2013 the current year and thought it was still 2012. So at this point you can browse through if you have other errors but close that window and then choose Edit Work under number 1 on the same GDP page. This will open the file that you just submitted and the window with the corrections needed so you can look at both at the same time. Make your corrections, <clears throat> save it again and this time you definitely should save as and you will notice that GDP adds a dash one to the end of the file name. Again Windows tends to want to put this in a temporary folder so be sure that you navigate to the place where it should be saved. Go through that process again and upload it to GDP. Here you're going through browse again <coughs> This time it tends to open the folder where you were last, so it saves you some steps. Be sure that you're uploading the correct file. And once again, it's going to be shown how many errors you have and the score. This time zero errors, so we're all set. GDP safely has a, an a document corrected to zero errors.